Hi, Martin here. Today I want to show you guys how to go about drilling out these knuckles if you're going to do the Chevy one-ton tie rods on here. Uh, these are the WJ knuckles. This is an awesome conversion to go to. Excellent braking. You get the crossover steering. This is a uh, rough stuff tie rod kit. I got this one welded up for a customer and I'm going to go ahead and get these knuckles drilled out for him. And I want to do that before I go to trouble welding these spacers on here. All right, let's get started. Now a couple things you're going to need is the reaming tool, which I'll put a link in the description down below, and a 5 8 inch drill bit. This will reduce the amount of reaming that you need to do if you get. All right, start by applying some cutting oil. It really helps the bit out a lot. Keep the temperature down. Now we're going to switch to our reaming tool and make sure you're going through the correct side of the knuckle. If you're going over the knuckle, make sure you're drilling on the top side of that knuckle. You're going to want to check this quite often. And keep applying your cutting oil or at least a WD-40. That's a penetrating lubricant there. This is going to help do a, a lot better job because this bit really wants to grab and catch a lot. Okay, that's real close. Just a little bit further. There we go. That is definitely as far as you want to take it. I took it to the very max. And you see here. Now this is as far as you definitely want to take it. The cotter pin still secures the nut. All right, now we're doing the right side knuckle. Starting out with a 5 8 inch drill bit. This really helps reduce the amount of reaming you need to do. And the uh, cutting oil really helps reduce the heat on the drill bit and does a better job of cutting. Make sure you apply plenty of the cutting oil or any type of uh, lubricant to the reaming bit. You can see there it really wants to grab. You can do a light pressure and a slower RPM I think really works best.
right, you can see that we're getting kind of close. This is when you really want to start paying attention and check more often so you don't go too far. Whoa, you see how it grabbed right there and there again? That's telling you, you need some more lube on there. It's <laughs> super hard on the wrist. good you see right there you clearly see the hole through the castle nut all right got it done uh, I tell you using a drill like this if you don't have the one that's got the handle on the side where you can get a good firm hole in the drill it uh, it's gonna give you a fight because this bit grabs really well and it wants to take you for a, you know, a ride um, really hard on the wrist. RPM is probably crucial. I'd say something really slow and very light pressure. You're taking off a little at a time and a lot of lubrication on the bit uh, is going to help a lot. Here we are. Here's the knuckle. Um, the fit turned out really well on this one. The other one I'd say I took just uh, maybe a skosh too far. And if that happens to you, you can simply place a thin washer right under here and everything will be fine. It's not a, a huge deal if you take it too far. Because these um, tie rod ends, they were intended, the, the meat on what they were actually made for, this part right in here, was probably a lot thicker. And so, you know, as you can see right here, I'm perfectly fine where the castle nut and the cotter pin go through, but you end up with a gap right there a little bit. So, like I say, if you take it just a little bit further where the, the cotter pin would almost be below the castle nut where it's not secure, you just apply a small thin washer in here and it's all good. All right. Well, I hope that was helpful and informative for you. And if it was, appreciate the thumbs up. And if you've never subscribed to me before, click that uh, subscribe button right down there, which will turn gray. And then right next to it is the little bell symbol. Hit that as well. And that way you get notifications of my future uploads. Also check out any links I got down below to the products and tools that we used in the video. All right, thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.